Welcome to Rich Tech. Now how do you repair damage such as this? I'm going to show you very simple steps how to go about this and you finish with this repair in no time. The first step is to cut off the damaged cable. Next step is to open up this charger. To open the charger simply place a pair of pliers at this point on the charger where the clips are fixed then pull apart just like that make sure the clips don't fall far open up the charger body expose the cables inside the junction and cut off at that point then you want to open this up To repair this junction, simply pull off the cables for the plug that easily. The other one can be pulled too, please do so. If you look at this rubber junction, it also is made of plastic but it has an inner portion which holds the wires and an outer portion so we want to clear this so that we can thread our cable back through this hole and to do that screw in a just a screw into this and then I'll hit this so as to push this inner portion out after hitting it several times you can see the inner portion is coming out this is easy work now just bend this one side and remove it then unscrew your screw all the way out This is why you use a screw, not a nail, and it should also have a blunt head. That's what's to push this out. Once that is done, then you can now pull this other wire out. As you can see it leaves a clean and neat hole through which you can thread the cable. And uh, here is our cable, also frayed. To make it to make it neat, you just nip some distance from the end. If there was any problem here, we eliminate it. And so we can thread this to this end once again into this junction. Here we are. Now prepare this end for soldering. And to do that, you just cut one centimeter or so off the insulation from this end collect the negative wires together prepare the positive wire it's now ready for soldering prepare this other end too by exposing these wires at least one centimeter from the end one millimeter from the end remove the insulation that's also ready for the solder an important part of this repair is to test this cable is already connected to power so I'll just fit it right here I'll connect it to this charger if you hear that pop it tells you that this charger is probably fine and the problem was at the junction next we test the cable we want to fix it to using a macbook use our macbook connect the connector and then these other two ends test match the wires white to white and the bare to the black all we want to check is if this connect and this cable are working 
Был судачане. That tells us our cable is working. As you can see, the light on the connector turned from green, right here, to amber, showing that it is charging. So this charger is okay. The cable is okay. We only need to solder this point and finish our repair. Put solder to the ends of these wires. Sure that the solder goes all around the bare part of the wire. Do for so for the cable which you want to use. Solder the cables, the wires together. One at a time, then you insulate. Insulate using an insulating tip. You can also use heat shrink tubing. Make sure all the bare wire is covered. Now let's solder this other side. This is well insulated. You can try pulling apart. It's not going anywhere. Then you insulate again. Both wires soldered and insulated. Now we have fixed this junction to this point. Before we fix it here, we need to clean this up. The point is clean, we apply some glue, super glue. All around the cable. Next pull back on the junction and allow it to set once this sets in fact it's already set it can't be moved next put all the junction and the cape wire back inside the charger and uh, fit it in its place then insert the clip for the side which is already connected. Next we apply glue to the raised portion of this casing. This is the sunken portion, we want to apply to the raised portion glue here. Next apply the put on the inner clips very quickly. And uh, the outer clips while pressing on the charger body so as to hold everything together. Make sure everything fits nicely. Press it so that we do not have a gaping hole. Now, here is our finished charger. You can check out the joints. Perfectly done. Now to test if it works, so that all of the work should not be in vain, connect it to a power source and uh, connect it to a MacBook. Perfect. Confirm the charger is working. The joint is repaired. Now what remains as you can see our charger is very very dirty and uh, with a little bit of uh, editing magic let's clean this up and this is the finished charger.
given a new lease of life, ready for many years of work ahead. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like and share. And I also like to hear your comments.